The home of pandas is now taking an express train to the future. I'm talking about the 81st World Science Fiction Convention held in Chengdu. If you watched my previous episode, you'd have found that I made a lot of references to sci-fi classics when talking about new tech, such as Star Wars, Star Trek, and The Alien. If you love them like I do, Worldcon is something you cannot miss. Hello and welcome to this special edition of Tech Place for Worldcon. It is the first time China has held such a large-scale and influential science fiction carnival. This is something really exciting for science fiction fans around the world. They've dressed up and gathered to meet with their beloved sci-fi writers and have a discussion about the future during this five-day event. I know you want to ask, why are we talking about literature? Where's the tech? Well, you can't deny that science fiction is born out of our curiosity about technology and brings us a sense of mystery. Even though technologies are everywhere in our lives, we are still intrigued by sci-fi. In particular, the rapid development of technology in China continues to breed new momentum for such literature. China is undergoing exponential growth in a way that the West is very stagnant currently. There isn't a lot of, there's almost an anti-science attitude in much of the United States, for instance. But in China, it's very different. In China, your government very much believes that the future of this country is based on advancement in science and technology. That no longer is the American belief. Indeed, technology changes our lives and also promotes evolution in the science fiction world. If we look back into history, each evolution in technology has brought sci-fi works under the spotlight. From the second industrial revolution during the post-World War II period and the first introduction of cloning technology, to the maturing of artificial intelligence nowadays. Maybe the next turning point for sci-fi is around the corner in China. Not only does the development of technology support the promotion of science fiction as a genre, but these works would also unleash our imagination for a better, more peaceful, and more united world in the future. Right now, it is said of China, it is said of China that you live in a peaceful country in a world that is not at peace. That has never been more true in this century than right now with war in Europe, Ukraine, war in Israel. What we have with a world science fiction convention is people from all over the world coming together in one place because they share a positive belief that there will be a future. We believe in the future. We dream of the future. Now, what about you? How do you envision a Tomorrowland? Leave your comments and let us inspire each other. That's it for this episode. Stay tuned for more science fiction and more tech, please.